the truth is rich. Topic, and the next topic is Amazon Prime's Jolt by Kate Beckinsale from, you know, Underworld. Who doesn't know? Yeah. So, what what do you guys thought of, of Jolt? Did you like it? Did you love it? You hate it? Well, what's your opinion on it? Did, 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 did we like Blonde Celine? Wow. Yeah, Blonde Celine. <laughs> Gigi? <laughs> like I said, man, they can make a billion chick flicks. I'm going to watch them all. I love me a powerful woman, man. But... I, get, I agree. I agree. So you guys liked it or what? You liked the movie? Yeah, it was it was different. I, it was like if you got on her nerves, you could have died that night. You saw? <laughs> <laughs> no, it, so it made me appreciate not getting on a woman's nerves because you never know if she's pushing that button. <laughs> I agree. I agree. But I have some problems with the movie. <laughs> Go ahead, Let's get it. Let's get it. First of all, before I get started, this is a spoiler review, so you guys got five seconds, okay? It's being spoiled, all right? Spoiled. Here's the problem. I knew, I fucking knew, I put this on everything I love. I knew the shrink was down with that shit. I knew the shrink has something to do with it, okay? Extremely predictable. I caught that shit from the beginning. Number two, Jai Courtney has never done it for me. Okay, never. I've never seen a movie with Jai Courtney in it. I said, hey, Jai Courtney's in it. I like this movie. Never until today. Jolt. I like Jai Courtney and Jolt. When he was the boyfriend, I like Jai Courtney and Jolt. And they fucking killed him. Hollywood, what are you doing to me? <laughs> okay, what are you doing to me? And, 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 and you got to understand, too, Jai Courtney never plays a, a, a good guy. Like most of his movies, he's a villain. No. Yep, he never plays he a great not, guy. The only, not, oh, the only movie he played a good guy, and we're not even going to mention this ever again, was Kyle Reese, if you want to call that person Kyle Reese. And that was trash. Yeah, Yo, that, that it was not well, even worth it. Yeah. Bro, he has never done it for me, man. Like, never oh, done it for me. And it's like, this movie, yo, the beginning, I was, I was, I was in the TV like this. I was feeling it. Yo, he was, yo, he was working that bitch. He was doing my kissing the thing. He was taking off the thighs. <laughs> I was feeling Jack Courtney. And then they fucking bodied him. Well, you know, bodied him. And then when he came out at the end with twirling the mustache <laughs> i'm the bad guy yo hands so down he did pissed because his plan makes no fucking sense <laughs> yo, i had some problems i had some problems you really really thought this bitch was going to what what was your plan to use her to kill all the guards so you could sneak in and kill the king from the red wedding like what was your fucking plan and i after he and how said, did he know? How did he know? How did he know about her? And how he knew about her talents or whatever her bro, disorder? Again, or... I rewinded the movie three times at the end of, of trying to understand his plan. Yeah. How did you know? She was how did you know she was going to escape the, the torture room? How did yeah. you know all of this? You completely, yeah. bro. You your plan was more complicated than the Dark Knight's Joker plan, which was completely by chance. <laughs> so you had a plan, and then it gets me even mad because I actually like the Red Wedding, the Red Wedding King. I liked the dude, yo, the old man that was eating the lobster, talking all that cockroach shit. I liked him, yo. I wanted him to be the guy she kills. But then you walk into the room and he's dead. The motherfucking John Corny comes out, twirling his fucking mustache, and he wanna tie you to the fucking train tracks. That shit pissed me off. And even now I'm sitting here saying to myself, what was Jai Courtney's plan? If anybody's watching this, if you're watching this, please in the comment section below, tell me Jai Courtney's fucking plan. <laughs> he ain't got no fucking plan. He lost the bet. My yeah. Son, <laughs> my son's picture looks mad. <laughs> <laughs> it's stupid. No, bro. How you gonna <laughs> laugh at your son's picture like no, that? No, but look at his face. Like he's, he's enjoying the conversation. <laughs> Listen, bottom line is. Again, I had a couple of problems. I did like the cops, the um, the the, the transsexual um actress. Oh, I forget her name. I'm sorry. She was an orange. Is a new yeah. black. Yeah, orange is a new black. Yeah. I really liked her in this movie. Like she was good. Like straight. The she she was the straight cop. You know what I'm saying? Then you had your boy, um, Ant Ant Man's baby mama's boyfriend. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, man, baby, my boyfriend, who was the other cop, and he was good too. Everybody did good. The acting was good, and even and even K Beckinsale, she did really good. I mean, what the fuck is K Beckinsale? And she looked and she looked amazing in this movie. She looked really good. I ain't gonna front. Like a couple scenes, I was I was like, oh shit, girl, I'm rubbing a nipple, but she looked good. She looked really good. I was... But again, like the, the problems I have with the movie is this motherfucking plan, very predictable because I knew the fucking strength was down with that. I fucking knew it, yo. He kept saying, oh, it's an experiment, it's an experiment, it's an experiment. She liked the guy. The only thing that threw me for a loop is the fact that Jai Courtney wasn't on it. That was whack. Jai Courtney should have been dead. <clears throat> she kills yeah. the guy. And she finds out later that the shrink has something to do with it. That would have been perfection. He just wanted to shit on... Yeah. The boyfriend. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. He was, he was so good, Jack Courtney. The first movie I liked him in. The first <laughs> movie I fucking liked Jack Courtney. And they did him dirty. And they did him dirty in this shit. Like they gotta start giving Jack Courtney more straight man roles because I seen his strengths. Straight man, bro. Be the straight man. Don't be the bad guy. Don't be Captain Fucking Boomerang. And we get into that soon. Don't be- <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna get into that one too. And, yeah. and don't be Carice. Stop it. Just stop it, Jai. Listen, John Courtney, listen to me. <laughs> be the straight man. Just be the straight man. That's all I got to say. <laughs> gotta say. Uh, Gigi, Gigi, what's your thoughts on Jolt? What do you think? You like it? Hate it? What? Would you watch it again? I like, I like it. I wouldn't watch it more than twice. But it was all right. It was It was like like how it, my, my friend Notorious up there explained. But... No doubt, my favorite part is that, like, y'all look for a reason for him to really shit on her. Like, like why, why, why? hands down, that was the worst shitting. Down, like, he really, really, they really broke her heart with that. And yeah, 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 it was really bad. Like, like hell, dude. Good concept, good concept. I forgot to mention that. Yeah. The pressing the button to get yeah. her shit back together, that was pretty cool. I can't yeah. front. I liked it, that concept. I love, I love new ideas, and that's an idea I've never seen in anything. It was pretty like good. I like I like that, that everything was like like any any anything could have made her pissed her off. Yeah, it could have went crazy on any any time. So so, so okay so um uh, I'm gonna have to um basically intrude this little joke part of you guys is having because pretty much this this piece of crap of a movie is it, what I think of it is basically two burnt nips and a peg leg and I'm gonna <laughs> explain why. I'm going to explain why. Because, for one, yes, the concept was good where she gets freaking a little shot, jolt, and boom, she goes crazy to calm herself down. But, you know, what was interesting about the whole thing was, like, they made it like a comedy. Like, it's like you have this violent kind of disorder where you become aggressive, then you just take the jolt and boom, you relax and you calm yourself down, or it, it alleviates you from killing somebody. And then... You meet this guy that basically, you know, for the first time, you've never been with a man. You you don't know what this guy's about. You don't even know what physical contact is. So then you finally open up to this freaking straight looking guy. Looks like a good guy and all that. And then now the first bit of freaking damn salami sausage that you get into your body. You go on a freaking damn killing spree looking for him to get beat. Burnt. Basically, he just played you at the ending. Yeah. To get revenge. This, this movie, this movie had a lot of potential. Like what I would have done, what I would have done, I would have freaking them taken out the comedy. I would have taken out freaking them all the little idiotic freaking chases by the cops because I really couldn't stand those cop oh, chases. Yeah, yeah, and they know. were really annoying. Yeah. It was like, really, you could have shot her a long time ago, but you're just saying freeze and, and, and catching babies and all this other dumb crap. Now, you ever seen uh, Unleashed with Jet, Jet Li? You remember that? Where, where he was a dog? Absolutely. Remember yeah. that? Yes, yes. They could have with her, right? A serious freaking action flick movie with some John Wick type shit. Boom. She shocks herself like that and goes hell bent crazy and beats the crap out of everybody that's around her. Yeah. Yeah. You're that's right. what I've done. Just that simple thing. Don't make it like when she gets this urge and she wants to beat the crap and kill somebody she needs to shock herself to calm herself down yes i get the concept and all this other stuff but it's like to what end and then she gets burnt by the guy 
-hmm. from a guy that uses her, doesn't know her, how he knows her, exactly. how he knows that she has these skills and talent to get Giant the job done. Plan. That's <laughs> yeah, to get the job done. Like, are you kidding me? Plan, damn it. Yeah. Plan. Listen to me. I'll give the first person. Or how many how many females how many females or how many females did he freaking burnt played just like her <laughs> set them up to try to kill the same boss they failed and finally he oh, he struck gold. How <laughs> many times did he try at this? Yes, how many? There's dead females all over the city. <laughs> all over the fucking city. Like again, again. The tossing of the babies, that shit fucked me up. I can't front. I was like, okay, now they now they pushing this shit. Yeah, they're they pushing it. You was trying to get out of there, but it was like y'all yeah, looked for a lame excuse for a way that it was like Again, again, yeah. the concept had potential, but and, and, I, and I, I'm not gonna lie to you, I was in it. I like and, and did you see the did you see the ending part? Did you see that this will piss me off that that was mm -hmm. the icing on the cake before she even got to Jai Courtney's character at the end. Mm -hmm. When when she goes and freaking fights all those henchmen and soldiers and stuff like that, it wasn't even her. It wasn't Celine from Underworld you that from the wig. trained the weapons wig. and fighting. It was some chick with a wig. Or, or yeah, really? Yeah. It was actually a dude with a wig. I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they did the whole camera from the back. <laughs> camera from the back yeah. angle. Camera from the back the whole time. I peeped that too the whole time. It was like I said. Was good, but <laughs> the problem with the movie was Jack Courtney's plan. I'm sorry, but that's the biggest sin in the whole movie. Prefer he stood dead. Yeah, Jack, the, the Jack Courtney's plan and the fact that the the subplot with the cops, like, what the fuck? Like, she beat these motherfuckers' asses already. Yeah, but you can't front though. When she, at the end, when when she was like, oh, spoiler, she was like, oh, uh, so I'm not going to jail. She said. Nah, bitch, you going to jail? You are going to jail. <laughs> and, 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 and and this is another thing too. This girl was born with a, a a disorder, like something that she can't really control. She's wearing this thing on her to basically keep her at bay to calm her down. But through all these cop chases or whatever, for some reason she forgets her disorder. She forgets that she needs to jolt from the violent freaking damn thoughts that she gets in her head to kill, slice people, throws up. You see when she freaking first up was thinking of killing the two cops in that office. Mm -hmm. When she freaking slit her throat and everything. Like, are you kidding me? Uh, yeah, I understand. I feel what you're saying. If they would have kept it no funny, it would have been more serious. It would have been a better movie. They yeah, should have kept it more serious. serious. More serious. And more they should have kept him dead. Yeah. Yeah. And also, uh, yeah. Kate cell was real cocky. Like, you can tell how cocky she was. It was like she was saying, I'm Celine, kiss my ass, this is what I do. Like, she was really being cocky. Even when she was talking to people, like, when she goes to yeah. the fight club, you know, she walks in the middle of the fight and she's talking to everybody. It's just like, you know, bitch, you're like a buck 50. I'll throw your ass out a window. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and but again, yeah. strong female characters. We know how it works. Right on. Yeah. Another one for y'all. Another, another one for y'all. <laughs> Nice. Another one. Yeah, take that. Yeah, that's another one. <laughs> oh, so All well. right, so we're now we're gonna move. If you scumbags enjoyed what you watch. Hit that like button and make sure that you subscribe so that you get all of this heavenly glory. And oh, and remember that the truth is rich. They're really disrespecting us, aren't they? That's freaking unbelievable.